What is going on guys? Grave here. Today we received Hotfix 4.0.0.2 for Destiny 2. It's a good bit of patch notes, a little bit more than I was expecting. Some of the changes they were talking about getting in these patch notes actually were not in them. A lot of this was bug fixes and issues within the new throne world. I will link these patch notes down in the description if you want to read them over in their entirety. I'm going to kind of go over the high points. The sabotaging salvation mission on Europa was blocking players from completing it. That has now been fixed. They have temporarily disabled deep sight tier 3 chest in the throne world for being opened far too quickly. So a lot of people were going back and forth just farming one or two chests, gaining tons of reputation. And of course you could get to level 30 with Finch very quickly doing this. Those deep sight tier three chests have now been disabled. No word on when they will be brought back online. I'm sure it's whenever they get a fix for it. They fixed various holes in the world in the throne world where players are actually able to get out of the environment. They also made some strike fixes. For the light blade, the hive boat now starts up properly even if players try to skip past it to the first hallway section below. The wellspring attack, they fixed an issue that caused the back middle wizard to get stuck in the pedestal. I only had this happen once after all the well springs I have run, but apparently it's becoming a pretty big issue. So once that witch is stuck, it will not come out and you have to pretty much, you know, just back out of the activity, then restart a new well spring. Public events, they fix the arch shield on the her uh, heroic ether harvest boss to properly react to arc damage. Dares of Eternity, they fixed an issue where scoring UI would not appear in regular Dares of Eternity. So we were not seeing a score uh, in Dares. If you played any Dares this week, or since the update, you probably noticed there was no score available in the normal version. And that was a issue because, you know, sometimes you get those lightning rounds, you get close to actually getting your pinnacle, uh, you know, enough points to get your pinnacle within a normal mode. And a lot of people were complaining they couldn't see the score. That has now been fixed. Also, they fixed an issue where the activity progress could fail when starting the lightning round. And they fixed an issue in lost sectors where the legend and master lock sector activities were missing from Bungie.net. Also, the Queen of Worms, they fixed an issue. If you joined the quest late, you were not granted pro uh, progress, blocking the player from acquiring the Parasite, uh, Parasite Exotic Grenade Launcher. That has also been fixed. And they fixed an issue where the Resident Ruin was using a placeholder icon in the campaign. When it comes to abilities, they fixed an issue where Titans could generate large amounts of orbs of power after rapidly entering and exiting Sparrows while triggering the Ward of Dawn. Also, they fixed the Cataclysm icon size to fit properly in the player HUD. When it comes to weapon crafting, they fixed an issue where the crafted weapon icon triumph counts were not being displayed properly. They also fixed an issue where mementos could drop from activities before players had unlocked weapon crafting. And also fixed an issue where the Gambit memento was not dropping for players who had not purchased the Witch Queen. They updated a crafting material name to, uh, to now read correctly as Drowned Alloy instead of Drowned Element. The only thing really within this that they talked about they were trying to get in this week's fix was actually when it comes to weapon crafting making the red bordered weapons the ones we have to research drop more frequently i said we're going to try to get a fix in for that especially for the well spring because you can run well springs and unless you're really lucky uh you're not really getting any of those red bordered weapons i have played tons of well springs and received two red border weapons and tons of just the regular base weapon that was supposed to be a fix but that is actually not listed in the patch notes so unless it was some kind of you know ghost patch they did with that it does not seem that that has been fixed just yet also the grave robber uh, perk has been re-enabled for glaives the hunter dodge can now cancel out glaive melee uh, animations they also fixed a bug where the funnel web was displaying the incorrect magazine values when you were comparing it in the inspection screen also the new shotgun they have it to uh, display the correct zoom now they fixed an issue where the Polymer B rocket launcher has missing or incorrect stats. Also, the Fortismo 11 had a higher magazine uh, capacity than intended. That was also fixed. Issues with the Grand Overture Catalyst quest description was swapped with the vendor text. Also, they fixed an issue where the Fortismo 11 shotgun had an incorrect magazine stat that would have only been visible with magazines increasing perks or mods. Also adjusted weights on legendary weapons available at Banshee 44, so the new world loot pool weapons have an increased chance of dropping. Also, they fixed a issue where the glaive melee kills did not count toward glaive kills in the match history, and they fixed an issue where the outlaw perk appeared twice in the first column of the Crisis Inverted Hand Cannon. 
uh, second instance has been replaced with under pressure. When it comes to armor, they made a few changes like high stat armor rolls have now been added as rewards for player players who elect difficult uh, campaign missions. So if you're running that weekly mission, it seems like those higher stat rolls should drop now. Also, they fixed the description of the Volactic Mirror Exotic Perk. There's a, a few other fixes for overload, uh, overload, overload, excuse me, round. Uh, the mods were not disrupting the health generation of overload champions when recovering from a stun. I'm sure some of you may have noticed if you've used, if you've gone up against any overload champions, sometimes it seems like you could not get them to stun like you could in the past. That seems to be fixed now. They also fixed an uh, issue where the re uh, reduced damage debuff from the Renewal Grasp exotic was only briefly applied. Also for bounties, they made some new Vanguard Void bounties not available during Void Burn Weeks. Uh, they fixed an issue where Void Volatile Explosion kills were not counting for objective progress and they reduced the completion values for some of the War Table repeatable bounties. They also fixed the issue where the quest uh, the to meditate on the light can remain stuck in a player's quest log if they received it from the postmaster and meditated before receiving, uh, you know, retrieving that particular quest. And they also fixed an issue where riding the storm subclass quest for Titans and stoking the flame subclass quest for hunters were no longer available at Ikora. They fixed an issue where the Phoenix Cradle ornament uh, required ownership of the season eight or season eight to actually purchase it. They also fixed an issue where some black levels could turn gray or invert due to uh, calibration settings not being reset for some players for HDR. They also made a fix for increasing the cost of pulling weapons and armor from collections to prevent farming gunsmith reputation. A lot of people were doing this farming their gunsmith rep. Now the rare ones have been moved up to 777 uh, glimmer. Legendary is 1000 glimmer and 10 legendary shards and exotics are 2500 glimmer and 20 legendary shards. They also fixed an issue where the night chill shader was not displaying correctly. And that is pretty much it besides some various stability and crash fixes. Now, like I said, they mentioned they wanted to have some fixes for those red border weapons not dropping uh, in things like, uh, you know, your well springs. That does not seem to be listed in these patch notes, nor is a fix for the issues with the glaive and the hunter. There's, then there was some issue with, you know, going invisible all the time. They're going to keep an eye on that. I'm not sure if it was not intended to kind of work that way and people to kind of figure it out. You know, use a glaive with a hunter, you can stay invisible pretty much nonstop. But they said they were looking at that as well and they were trying to get that fixed before the raid on Saturday. But it looks like that's not going to be applied in this update either. Now we may get another update tomorrow or Saturday that fixes some of these other issues. Of course, if we do, I'll make a video for that. Of course, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this update. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.